Hey guys, this is a tutorial about how to add classes and add teachers properly, right? Um, every time throughout the year, sometimes we may have a new class or a new teacher, but when we do print out, it does look very strange and and doesn't align with the rest of the classes that was created earlier that year, right? To give you an example, um, so assuming we start another sec one class um, in the middle of the year, right? So let's say we call it sec one e three, right? So when we start a new class, sec one e three, right? Let's move this guy up all the way to be behind Batula, right? So this new new class is uh, being set up, right? When you go to print preview of all your classes, now it's 37 classes, you realize that Batula has a general template. But when you go and click 1E3, you see 1E3 is using the default template of uh, the timetable software. So what you can do here is go to design, you click on Pathlight Secondary. This design has been saved in your computer if you are allowed the timetable software. Uh, the design templates can be easily found over at your C drive, timetables, this design folder. This design folder, if you if there's a new person doing timetable, you can just copy and paste directly into this timetables, C drive timetables of the particular person uh, or the new person who is doing timetable. Right, it is uh, it's really not rocket science. Right, so back to uh, design uh, the timetable. So you can go to path like secondary, you click apply, you can click apply all classes or this, this set one E3. You can see in instantaneously it has been applied to the new design. Right, so whatever you key, it will look exactly the same as Batula or whosoever after that. So the same concept, you should apply it to the new teachers. So let's say we have a new teacher who joined us. Um, new teachers uh, join us quite regularly throughout the year. So you go and go to teachers. You click new. You have a new sec one uh, math teachers. A teacher called Mr. Wilfred, for example. So you click Mr. Wilfred. Usually this is only what I do. The last name. And I paste it on the shop. I leave the rest of the stuff blank because I, I just need he, the person and the name. The rest uh, is good to have but don't, don't bother. So Mr. Wilfred has been created and you realize Mr. Wilfred is at the bottom most. So you can just shift it up. This is the key to shift the sequence in which it will be printed out. So let me shift Mr. Wilfred to near the uh, secondary teachers. So for this example, I just shift it beside uh, Lina, right? So close it. When I go to the teacher's view, I will find Mr. Wilfred here, all right? So same thing happens um, when you click on print preview, you go to timetable for each teachers. You realize after Lina, Mr. Wilfred is actually in a generic default timetable. To make sure he looks good in timetable, go to design as well, PL teachers, apply. You can apply to Mr. Wilfred. Realize instantaneously the design is the same per Lina. So this is how you apply the design before you do print out for all your new teachers and new classes. So this sums up the tutorial on adding new teachers and new classes to the ASC timetable uh, that you have. Thank you.